Amanda? Hey, do you remember that conversation that we were having about L1 use in the L2 classroom? Yes. Yeah, we weren't like uh, on the same page. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think we agreed on some of the points. So I wanted to have that um, conversation one more time. So, okay. what was the, the the first thing that you were telling me about that? Well, that using bits of the L1 in learning of the target language might actually benefit students help faster connections to the target language by being able to refer back to their L1. Well, I think that the thing that I didn't agree with about that was that um, the main goal of second language edu education is the development of L2, so or the target language. So I'm wondering whether um, that might kind of defocus from the goal and like students might not know that that's what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, I see, I see what you mean. But um, like then I'm wondering, for example, if both languages, L1 mm -hmm. and L2, are stored in the same part of the brain, and they're activated in the same part of the brain, um, and going back and forth between one language and another, the code switching mm -hmm. is actually a skill that students have to develop. Mm -hmm. So why would you like keep them from being able to do that or from developing that skill? Well, the thing is that um, I've seen it in my own classrooms, and I think I've read about it as well, is um, there is an issue with students trying to transfer the knowledge and the skills that they have from their L1 to their L2. And honestly, not everything is transferable, so it kind of leads to more errors. And so students might um, have errors that wouldn't come up if a, the L2 was just used in the classroom versus always this reference back to a, the L1. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. And I've also seen that in my classroom. So I think uh, I would uh, agree with that, um, with you regarding that point. Um, now, I'm just thinking not only about the impact that L2 has on students in the classroom, but also about their perspective and their position in, our, in the global world mm -hmm. nowadays, that if you deny students the opportunity of being in contact with their L1 and with their culture while they're learning mm -hmm. the second language, it might negatively impact how they perceive their self-identity in regards to the second language. Mm -hmm. I think I agree with that point, um, but I don't think that having an L2 classroom necessarily means um, taking away the student's culture and identity. I think that that's something that can be integrated into the classroom. And I think that the aspect of building students' self-reliance and their self-confidence has to do a lot with what the teacher does in the classroom and how they scaffold learning. I think that um, using language that is consistent, that's predictable, that's familiar to students helps them understand what's going on in their environment and it can actually help boost their their like identity or their, who they are in that classroom. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like you kind of have a point there. But I just I just keep thinking that if L1 and L2 are kept separate, mm -hmm. in the end it might build up to like mistrust, disintegration, um, and misunderstanding. Um, not only in the classroom, mm -hmm. like I was mentioning, but also at social, cultural, and social political levels. Like the the perspective or the stance that students have as themselves in one or the other mm -hmm. language might might be hindered by keeping L1 and Yeah, so it's never like a full yeah. A idea. Yeah, I think I agree with that point. Um, one thing that I found really interesting though, it's not really related to that specifically, but is that um, teachers who consistently use L2 in the classroom often have a fewer behavioral issues in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that it's kind of, that kind of speaks to the kind of environment and the culture that's being promoted in the classroom when only L2 is used. So I think that it's interesting. So, um, but I, I think I do see your, your point. Well, that's like, I wouldn't have thought about that. Like, I think naturally what you might think about is that if you have behavioral issues in the classroom, you, like, you would do better addressing them in the L1 rather than the L2. So, you know what, I'm going to do some more reading about that because I think it's uh, that's really interesting and maybe we can continue this, con the, this the conversation. Later. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to do some more reading and I'll share some articles with you. You can share some articles with me and we can continue this really interesting conversation we started. Okay, sure. So, are you ready for coffee? Yeah, yeah let's go have some coffee. Okay, sure.